Hello. Ah, uh, good morning, Mrs. Rogerson. Yeah. John O'Hara from the <laughs> garage. Yeah. Customer services. Um, it's about your car you brought in for a check mm -hmm. for us. We've not heard anything back from you yet. No. Um, no. I'm just clearing the files out and uh, want to know what's going on, really. Which, which garage? Which, which, uh, I'm not bringing it to you. Uh, I beg no, your pardon? I'm not bringing it back to you. I've, uh, I'm not bringing it there anymore. I beg your pardon? I'm not, I'm not bringing it to your garage anymore. Oh, why ever not? Uh, because because the, the quote that I were given for the work they wanted doing was for £769. That's right, very reasonable. Very unreasonable. Uh, another garage, when I, I had it checked over somewhere else. Hey, well, hey, 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 there's no need to... You know, what oh, do you well, mean? I, well, I don't even have to have this conversation with you, actually. I know, but I'm just trying to find out, you yeah, know. Yeah, well, I, I'm just telling you. Okay. So, please, I'm telling you the reason. Well, let me, write, let me write it all down. Because you were interested to, enough to ask. Well, so. absolutely, we, yeah, we were, so, you know, because so we... there's no need to AAA at me. Well, I was just a bit concerned with the way, do you know what I mean? Uh, yeah, well, I'm, I know you don't like what I'm saying to you, but I'm telling you the truth, and I have the receipts here, and I've had it into another garage for a check. And if you don't mind me asking, what quote did they give you? Two hundred and seven pound no yes and no, half no, of no, the no, work no. half of the work didn't even need doing oh no no oh well this is this is it so uh, now, according to uh, another place that's it for the for the safety thing that that is what was told to mrs me. rogers so, I'd, I'd hate for you to sort of be in a dangerous situation um, um sure you wouldn't like me to be in a dangerous the thing situation. is the thing is cowboys love um that will take on the work and offer you the low price. Have you checked it's all been done? Oh yes, Afi, it's all been done. We... I'm having it done. ...pride it ourselves, done. if you just listen for a moment, we will pride ourselves on giving our customers the best value for money. Are you suggesting we would make it up? Don't ask me to suggest anything, thank you. I'm not I, asking, I'm, I'm just asking you what I've you're... Been to you. I've been coming to you for years. And never and a bad time, word. Uh, and this time, I, I really feel like I've been took on. The thing is, if you don't mind me saying, you have wasted our time somewhat. I haven't wasted your time somewhat. You got paid for what you were doing. You got paid for a job. Don't don't come, don't come phone me at my workplace and start trying to harass me into coming well, to you. Well, I'm certainly not trying to harass you. Yeah, well, I, I, don't, I don't approve of this kind of telephone call anyway. You rang up as customer services I'm to customer inquire services. why I'd not been, been back to you, and I've told you why. There, there was work on it that didn't need doing. Uh, well, I, I can't imagine our boys would ever well, do that. Well, who's, this, who's been telling you that? Th this other it's, garage. It's, it's not. It's not of any consequence. I'm not going to be Ooh. getting. I'm not going to be getting into into all this. No, no we don't want an argy bargy, do we, love? No, we, do, we don't want an argy bargy. No argy bargy. We're not having one. Right. Well, right. yes. If you don't mind me asking, what were the what were the things that sort of they said didn't need doing? Uh, suspension didn't need doing. I have a real bad feeling of mistrust now. Of me? No, not of you. Of, of the who? company. I have a mistrust of the company well, now. you've got no right to say that about us in the nicest possible I, I, way. Well, I, it, You're talking well, about... telling us me as I have no rights to say what I'm saying. Saying that I, mistr I have a mistrust. You're talking about as if we're a, a bunch of cowboys, love. No, we're, I'm not uh, talking about you like you're a bunch of cowboys. We're a very I'm reputable. Telling, I'm telling you what you've asked me, and so I'm telling you... Listen, my sweet, we've got lots of lady customers who are very, very happy driving around in the cars, big cars, little cars, vans, some of them. They're very happy with us. Well, maybe they are. Would we not have invented work for the pre-MOD? If that is the case. Look, I'm going to cut this, this uh, conversation to an end. I'm bringing it to an end. I don't appreciate being called at my workplace, or even at my home, or anywhere. Now, what about Helen Chapman? What about her? She's written to me to wind you up. Hello, are you? Simon Logan from Air FM. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think you need a cup of coffee or something. I think I do, yeah. Would, okay. you like, would you like to give Helen a message while you're on the show? Tell her to come down and see me. <laughs> <laughs> and then you'll have I words. I want a word with her. <laughs> 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 Listen, Pauline, thanks for being a great sport there. OK, then. Sorry to put you through that, but it was all Helen's idea. Um, I'm sure it was, knowing Helen. <laughs> no wonder she went out lurking around looking suspicious. This really? Yeah. Oh, she's, ty <laughs> she's typed it all out and everything, you know. Yeah. Well done, Helen. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, then. Bye. Bye. Thank you for calling. How well, may I help you? Hello, is that... Is that the supermarket? Yes. Thank goodness for that. I've been I've been trying for some time. Can you hear me all right? Yes, fine. I've been dialing numbers in the dark. Um, 
what's happened is I'm actually in the car park at the moment, your car park. Yeah. I'm on my mobile, as you can probably tell. I, I feel rather silly. I'm afraid I've managed to lock myself into the boot of my car. You've locked yourself into the boot? I'm, I'm actually in the boot now. I've, I've managed to lock myself in it. I feel rather foolish. <laughs> Which car is it, please? Um, I've got a red Sierra. You know where the, the big arm man is? Big what, sorry? The man with the big arm. You know the big arm that lets you in and out? Yeah. Just to the right of that you'll find it, I think. And what red is your car? Well, I can only remember P963. That's the only... It's a P red, is I've, it? Yeah, this has been going through my mind. I didn't know what to do. I managed to reach through to the back seat, you see, where my phone was. Yeah. Uh, there's a small little opening. I managed to reach through. I've managed to scuff my wrist in the process. Now, the thing is, my wife is in store at the moment there. She's doing her shopping. Right. What's your wife's name? Um, don't make a show of me, will you, though? I won't do. Don't sort of say the reason. I'll don't just, like, tell her to go out. Yeah, don't say there's a man, you know, locked in his car, otherwise there'll be a crowd round. No, I'll just call her over the tunnel. Oh, that would be marvellous if you could do that. What's her name, then, please? The, the name is Bank, Bank Newton. Can you hear me? Yeah, what's your wife's name? It's Bank Newton. Bank. Let me out! So I'm, 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 I suffer from claustrophobia as well, just making matters worse. What? Let me out! Don't, don't sort of go away, will you? Keep me there. Um, I'm beginning to panic now. What's your wife's name, please? Bank Newton is the name. I've sold, I've told you three times. Yeah, your wife's name. Is that your wife's name? Mrs. Bank Newton. Jemima is her first name. Mrs. Just, Bank you, Newton. Bank Newton. It's a double barrel surname. Let me out, please. Just hold the line for me. Don't put me on hold. I need to hear what's going out. I'll have to put you on hold so I can Just call put the phone the down. Just put the phone down, please, but don't put me on hold. driving me insane! Help! Hello? Hello? You still there? Yes, I am. I asked you specifically not to put me on hold. I have to put you on hold because I can't... I didn't want to hear that music. I can't call your wife over the tannard if I don't put you on hold, I'm afraid. Have you got her? Yeah, I'm trying to find her now. Have I you got a her? Minute. Don't put me on hold, please. Not that music again. No! Help! I don't know which is worse, being locked in the boot on this music! Help! I'm in a Jean-Michel Jean nightmare! Help! Hello? Have you found Jemima yet? Um, Mrs. Newton. Mrs. Bank Newton? Mrs. Bank Newton. We've called, but not yet. We'll call again, and as soon as she comes to the service point, we will a we'll actually bring her across to the car, OK? Can you come and find me now? Yes, we'll do. Let me out! Okay. Get, get me out! Okay. You you make the papers for this if you get me out. Get me out! Don't put me on hold again! Get me out! Get me out of here! Hello? Are you okay? I'm not okay. That music's making me worse. It's just the same repetitive tune over and over again. Wait, someone's on the way out. I keep calling your wife. But I don't no... think you're calling her, otherwise she'd be here by now. I've called her twice now and she's... there's no one actually come. I'll try her again now for you. Please don't put me on hold. I shall go mad. Anything but that. I'll be just two seconds. Don't I, put I me have on hold. to, sir. I don't want that music on again, please. Well, I I'll want have... to hear you. It's a comfort to me, you know? Have you ever been in a situation like this? You know what it was like. Just right. get me out! Hello? Get out! Please! Have we've been out, we've been out, sir. Have you found her yet? Um, no, we haven't, afraid not. Um, you don't mind, Count Scott, no gentleman called Alan Smith, do you? Alan Smith? Yes, I do actually, Bob, because he's written to me to wind you up. <laughs> <laughs> That's very good. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Houses of green. Oh, hello. Uh, do you sell greenhouses? Do you mean commercial or small? Do you sell the garden ones, you know? Yeah, we do. What sort of money, actually? Because it's, uh, it's a while. I, I bought this other one second-hand. In fact, I'm in it now. I'm in, I'm in it at the moment on the mobile phone. I bought this second-hand. So, really, you know, buying from you, I have no idea. No um, the roughly uh, 10 by 12 is just, just short of nearly a £1,000. Uh, is, is it an aluminium one? It is, yes. Right. It's just I was wondering, if it's aluminium, how can you see out? Um. what do you mean? 
Well, won't the aluminium stop the sunlight getting to my tomato plants? It's all glass, it's just the framework. Oh, aluminium. it is glass! They're actually just uh, the aluminium frame. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh no! Stop it, you peskin kids! Get away! Uh, I'm sorry about that. Hello? Hello? So, would you like to take my number and, you know, get someone to call me back? Yeah, no problem. Okay, fantastic. <laughs> oh! Could you stop that? It's ruining my life! <gasps> oh! Gosh! You know, you've had no idea what I've had to put up with! Oh. Hello? Hello? Anyway, um, I've got I've got spare panes of glass that will keep me going. Don't worry. Right. So you would be interested in uh, in possibly taking this one away then? If he can fit it in, he will probably. All oh, right, that'd be good. Fit it in what? If he can fit it in between doing his commercial ones. Fit it in his van or his, his car. Or. <laughs> <laughs> would you be careful? One day you'll cause an accident. Oh, I wish they'd leave me alone. You know. <laughs> Do you have problems with your neighbours? Not really. God, these lots are terrible. Do you know, it's really ruined my life. What name is it? Swift. Swift? Swift. And what's your phone number, please? It's 829. Oh, it's wobbling. It's wobbling. You see, this is why I need the new one. It's starting to wobble. Oh, every time a gust of wind comes, it stops. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, good morning. Can I speak to Mrs. Johnson, please? Yes, this is Mrs. Johnson. Good morning, Mrs. Johnson. My name's Neil Seaton from Morecambe Tourism Board. Yes. The thing is, unfortunately, we have caught you on one of the closed-circuit TV cameras, actually, you know, taking stones off the beach. Well, well, what's wrong with taking a few stones from the beach? Most people do take a few. It's a restricted area, I'm afraid, Mrs. Johnson, and to even be on that beach, you were trespassing. Well, I didn't see any signs saying keep off what or was, anything. No, the signs were certainly there, you silly woman. You know, you should have looked... Oh, don't you call me a silly woman. Those stones that you've taken off the beach are actually very rare. You know, the, the stones are there for people to look at, to enjoy while they're in the area. There were no signs there telling people not to go on the beach. There were lots of people walking on uh, the beach. Correction, Mrs. Johnson, you haven't seen the signs. Most other people managed to see them. Are you thick or what? No, and don't you call me thick. There were no signs there. I've never seen any signs at Morecambe Beach. How many have you taken, getting back to my original question? About six. And what did you want them for? Are you planning to sell them on the black market? No. I've put them in the bathroom, in the corner, to make a display. Imagine if Everybody came to Morecambe and took stones away to make a display in the bathroom. You know, there'll be no stones left on the beaches. Oh. What do you think you're playing Don't at? Everybody takes stones on the beach. I, honestly, children pick them yes, up and take them yes, home. Yes, normal stones on a normal beach, but this is a very special beach. You know, those stones have been there for years. They're part of the heritage. Oh, what, uh, what's so special about Morecambe? It's not Morecambe, it's the stones. They're antiques. How can that? Be antiques. Listen, obviously you don't know anything about uh, No, stones. I don't. I'm I've never heard anything so stupid. There were no, other people I... walking on the beach and other people Yes, and you didn't see them picking... No, you didn't see them picking up stones, did you? It's I, only you that took I them. I did, and children pick up stones Listen, as well you're beginning to annoy home. me now. Shut up for a minute. You're beginning to annoy me now, you know. Yes, I... and you're beginning to annoy me as well. I've never been spoken to like this. This you is know, absolutely you're very, ridiculous. You're very rude. Who are you? What's you're your very, name? You're very rude, aren't Give you? Give me your name and the name of your department. I'm going to ring up your superior. You're this a stone stupid. thief. Those stones are staying in my bathroom. Those stones certainly are not. You're a stone thief. You're what other things have you stolen while you're in Morecambe? Oh, don't be so ridiculous. A few stones. It's a good job the lampposts are screwed down, otherwise you perhaps would have had those in your I, front room. I certainly wouldn't want a lamppost in the bathroom, would I? Anybody would think I'd been up with a <laughs> lorry and loaded a lorry up. You're talking about six or seven little pebbles. I'm glad I've 
Ashley caught you. We we're about to go to Crime Watch with well, this. Well, I'll tell you one more thing as well. I've got a piece of driftwood that I picked up. I suppose you want that back as well? You're such a <laughs> rude man. I've I'm never rude. heard anything like I'm it. I'm not the one that has come stealing stones. I've never been spoken to like this. This is absolutely stupid. Well, the first I time for everything, in there, you silly woman. To any beach. Who do you think you are, prancing around with stones? We're an stolen? island. We're surrounded by a coastline, and most of it's got stones and shells on. So why are they so? <laughs> I want your name and your department. I've got a pen here, I'm going to write it down, and I'm going to ring up and complain about you. I'm not going to be spoken to like this. You want my name and department? Yes, I do. Simon Logan, 96.3 RFM. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Who set me up like this? Your sister, Vicky. Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> <sighs> You really did get quite mad there, didn't you? Well, I know, but I mean, it is ridiculous. So it's not right then, is it? You don't want them back. <laughs> no, the whole thing's a wind-up. Oh. Have you got a message for your sister? Um, no, I'm speechless. Wait till <laughs> she comes round. <laughs> Thanks, Nikki. Bye-bye. Bye. Hello? Oh, hello, is that Alwyn? Is, it, is that Mrs. Perkis? Yes. My name's Dr. Jenkinson from the dental practice. And um, we're going through the records and we have come across your name as far as the uh, the false teeth go. Yeah, yeah. Um, you've had yours for over 20 years, is that right? Yeah, that'd be it. Yes. Yeah. Um, really, just, just an inquiry, have you thought about getting new ones at yes, all? Yes, I have. Yeah, I have um, been thinking about it. Um, you know, this is what we're here for. Yes. You see, from my experience, the false teeth you've had, you must have bought them in the 70s, is that right? Um, uh, how long have I had these trees, man? I think, didn't it say 75 on the records? I know I was carrying, um, the second baby. Gosh, so it's been a long time, really. Have you got them in now? Yeah, they are wearing down. <laughs> Do you find you can masticate all right with your food? Oh, yes. Can you chew? Yes. Could you take your teeth out for me for a moment, just so I can see whether they've got the kite mark on them? Pardon? Well, they should have a kite mark stamped on the top set. Have a look. I am doing, but I can't see it. Gosh, they came out easily, didn't they? Oh, yeah. Mm, they've gone back in now. Goodness no, me. I can't see it. Because usually you get quite a sort of <laughs> noise, you know, when someone whips them out. Oh, no. But yours have just slotted in and out like that. Yeah. Why have you left it so long, Goofy? Because I've been all right. Are you all right at crunching biscuits and things? Yeah, yeah. Crunch a biscuit for me. Oh. <laughs> Mum, go and get me a biscuit. <laughs> go and get me a biscuit. We can tell by the sound, you see, love. Pardon? We can tell by the sound you make whether you need them or not. I think I do. Crunch a biscuit or a carrot? Yeah, I'm getting uh, a biscuit. Great. Oh, yeah. um. I don't know what I don't want biscuit barrel, mother. Well, I think I always thought you wanted. Who's that old bat? It's my mother! Oh, I'm sorry, love. <laughs> <laughs> Let me hear you crunch it, love. I've Cru I've eaten it! You've eaten it? No, no! I didn't hear it crunching. I need to hear crunching here, love. <laughs> go and tell the old girl to get you another one. I have to go and get me another one, mother. Oh, I've got a ginger one. If you can jump up and down while you're chewing, I can see whether they rattle or not. Oh, no, they don't rattle. Just jump up and down for me then, love. <laughs> I know it sounds strange, but we've got to do these things. Is that better? That's it. Were well, you jumping there? Yeah. Yeah, it's good to have a jump every now and again, isn't it? Oh, yes, it is. You're right there. <laughs> I'm trying to picture what you look like now. You've got me started. Do you look like Shergar, love? How did you get my telephone number? Well, it's on our records. We're, we're going through them all, you see. My, my telephone number isn't on your records. Of course it is, Horseface. It isn't Horseface. It's got a <laughs> Right, do you want me to come in, then? Hey, you're going to the museum, Harry. My husband said, man, I'm going to the museum. I certainly will do, along with your mother. <laughs> Hey, listen, uh, would you like to make a note of my name? Yes. It's Simon Logan. Oh, I aunt. <laughs> Do you know Angela and Joan? Yes. Oh, oh the little... Yo, boy, I'll kill them. <laughs> oh, the... <laughs> I'll kill them. Do you 
really speaking, how may I help? Oh, happy days. Uh, could I speak to um, Vanessa, please? Vanessa? Do you know where she works? Or? No, no, sorry, I'm looking at the wrong piece of paper. <laughs> My mistake. My friends and I would like to join a health club. Yes. Yeah. If you could persuade us why yours is top of the pops, that would be great. Um, well, you really need to ring and speak to the sales team. They're actually in between, uh, you know, office hours. Mm. There's only just like, a, few, a few sort of details. Yeah, I mean... Well, we've got, obviously, we've got the gym, swimming pool, sauna, jacuzzi. Yeah, I'm in a bit of a hurry, you see, because I'm meeting Des O'Connor tonight. How much brass are we talking about? It's a special price at the moment. It should be 200 and such and so many pounds, but it's 69 at the moment. Is it OK to sort of bring your sons and daughters along and...? That only on um, Sundays between 10 and 2. Cheers. I mean, this is the moment of truth. Um, the main thing is we're not talking telephone numbers, because I'm not made of money. It's really, really good. Really good price. You know, when you're inside the pool, can you see if it's raining you know does the weather show from the outside well, is it sort of glass a, we have got a glass roof but it's a dome glass roof and i don't know whether you can see or not i've never actually looked up well i've been inside <laughs> it but i'm sure you could if you if you caught it raining i don't know what about the changing rooms i think we're changing rooms we've got the pine lockers with hair dryers we sound like the hair bear bunch don't we breakers the news do you get your own little cubicle you can have you we have got private cubicles with lockers on if you want or you can get changed wherever you want really could i come round and look tonight i think you're better off doing yeah i was gonna say if it couldn't if you couldn't do it tonight i could just put it in my calendar and uh you know, come whenever you want it. Um, oh, right, I see. Can you watch the big match live? Is there a large screen TV? Um, no, there's a TV. It's not got a very large screen. It's just normal screens. My friend Peter wants to know what colour the swimming pool is. I mean, I said to him, I said, it'll be blue, Peter. Is it? Right, I've no idea. It might be green. I don't know. You'll have to come and have a look. I mm -hmm. think you're better off coming down. And you have got a sauna. Yeah, we've got a number of saunas. As long as the sauna's warm, that's all right. It ain't half hot, Mum. You'll be all right. Anyway, where were we? How far are you from South Park? I don't know, because I don't know where South Park is. In the north, isn't it, I believe? I don't know. I'm beginning to think this is a joke, actually. Are you, are you winding me up here, or is this a genuine inquiry? How do you mean? And um, just because you're asking me about the pool and whether you can see the rain through the glass, well, and asking like me what your mother wants to know about such a thing, and no, I'm just it, trying to get as many. Are you having a family membership, or is it just for yourself? Well, it, you know, possibly, but I thought perhaps if they could come under my ticket to save buying a, a family membership. No, I'm sorry. You I mean if you buy the membership, it's for yourself. You can actually be guessing, but it's ten pounds each time you do that. There's never any trouble there or anything, then. Well, I hope not. No. <laughs> no men behaving badly. I don't know, I don't mm. think so. Do you have first aid? Yes. In case of casualty? Yeah, just a moment. Sounds like the music to the holiday show, doesn't it? Hello. Hello. Hi. I say my name's Ali, Ali McBeal. Right. Um, thanks for taking my call this morning. Oh, you're welcome. Emmerdale. Right then, bye, -bye. EastEnders. <laughs> News at 10. Thank you. Bye. I'll feed the same pet. How can I help you? I'm looking for something that's going to make my phone ring louder so I can hear it all around the home. Right. If you just hold the line, please. Hello, can I help you? I'm looking for something that's going to make my phone ring louder so I can hear it all around the home. Right. The only thing we stock is a bell. Pardon? The only thing we stock is a bell. But it's I not don't bit. understand what you mean. You're going to have to talk up. Hello? 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 We stock a bell. Pardon me, it's you're going to have to repeat that a bit louder. I can't hear you too well, I'm afraid. Right. We sell a bell. Can you hear that? I need something that's going to make the phone louder. Yes, we sell a bell. Pardon? We don't stock anything like that. Pardon? Yes, we don't stock anything, sir. Pardon? We don't stock anything. I need something that's going to make the phone louder. Yeah, um, we have got something. I'll just check for you. Pardon? I'll just check for you. I'm going to check for you. Pardon? I'm going to check for you.
Hello? I need something that's going to make the phone louder. Yeah, but we've not got anything. We don't sell anything here. Pardon? Like that. Yeah, but we don't do anything like that here. Pardon? We don't do anything like that here. Pardon? I'm looking for something that's going to make my phone ring louder so I can hear it all around the home. I can just go and check for you. I don't understand what you mean. You're going to have to talk up. Sorry. Hello? I'm... Hello? Hello? Yes, what we'll have to do, I'd have to uh, have a look for you. Pardon? I'd have to have a look for you to see what stock we've got. Don't you feel sorry for me? Yes, I do. Hello? Pardon? I said hello. I need something that's going to make the phone louder. Yes, sir. I'm afraid we do not stock anything like that. Pardon? We do not stock anything like that. Pardon? We don't actually stock it, I'm afraid. Pardon? We don't stock it, I'm afraid, sir. Pardon? I'm afraid we don't stock it. Pardon? City Centre. Hello? I beg your I'm um, yeah, in order the car repairs. Pardon? Yeah, the cars and the uh, problem with the engine. Which car? Mine. Um, basically, what happened is driving along, uh, bumpity bump, bumpity bump, and suddenly, uh, 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 straight uh, under the bonnet, lifting the bonnet, strange sort of uh, knocking noise, etc., etc. Uh -huh. What car is it? Yeah, it's a failed air scorn, a little red one. Ah. Uh, just a moment, I'll get someone to speak to you. Yeah, it's very tuned, isn't it? Hello? A very similar noise to the one that was in the background. Basically, did the gentleman told you about the problem? Hello? Has the gentleman who told you about the problem? Pardon? Eh? Yeah? Bing, 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 all the time. What's that? Eh? Yeah? You heard it? Hello? Pardon? Pun? Uh, the problem is, we're not doing any work. It's yeah, another garage. Yeah, we recommend somebody else. Right, I'll give you the phone number of somebody. Oh, you're very kind. Uh, 708. Who's this able to do like the air freshener, etc.? Um, the air freshener in the car. What? Air pressure. Um, you know who says it? <laughs> um. That's exactly the noise. You don't know what you just heard. It's exactly the noise you're under the bonnet. Just hang on one minute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello? 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 I'll give you a number now, just ring and ask for Pat Wynn. Are you the gentleman I've just been talking to you about the, the, the problem with the air freshener? Etc. With the air freshener? No, air pressure. Are you taking the f***ing out of me? Air pressure? Eh? Yeah, the same way I was in the back kitchen last night. Really? Yeah, yeah, same. I was in the back kitchen. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, 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 right. Yeah, 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 on the, the, boot, the boot lid. You need to do the kitchen for yourself. I'm just, I'm just, I'm like, people, people are helping. Yeah, I know. Are you the cupboards and the units? Hmm? Thank you very much. Hello? Oh, good morning. Can I speak to Mr. Hickman, please? Yes, yeah, you are doing. Good morning, James Hickman. Yeah. It's Jeff Thomason here from the uh, the Yorkshire region of the UK Sports Council. Oh, right. The main reason I'm ringing, there's been a bit of a, a, a technical hitch here. As you probably know, James, the world governing body, FINA, uh, stipulate for, you know, a new world European or Commonwealth record to be ratified, you have to pass a doping control test. You know about this? Yeah, 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 because I had to do some at the weekend, of That's course. That's right, we had, we had your sample. Yeah. Unfortunately, your sample has been dropped, so it makes the whole competition null and void, I'm afraid. How can that have happened? There's no way! I'm afraid it has happened. It's all null and void. What idiot's going to drop a sample? Well, I'm afraid it was a, a gentleman that had arthritis, if you really must know. Well, what have you got people with arthritis looking after these things for? I'm really, I'm just going to have excuse to get on to people about... Excuse me. What? No, excuse me. Just because someone's got arthritis doesn't mean they can't work for us. Yeah, but I've just been working my absolute arse off. Well, I'm sure you have. And, 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 like, what an idiot. I'm I mean, sure seriously. you have. There's no need to sort of shout at me. I just tried so yeah. hard over the weekend. Yes, you just a top and take and swim. hours and hours and hours. Anyone can swim. All you do is jump in a pool and swim a bit. You know, what's, what's <sighs> the big thing of that? We train so hard. Listen, like, pal. Listen to me, shut your face for a minute. 
I get up early as well. You don't hear me moaning on about it all the time. Have you got some sort of problem that you have to let everyone know <laughs> what a hard life you've got? Is that what it is? Yeah, well, yeah, we do. We have an amazingly hard life. Yeah, we say. Oh, of course it is. Yes, it's terrible swimming every day, isn't it? Nothing better to do with your time. What is your name? You don't need my name. I'm just ringing uh, to tell you yes, the news. Tell me what your name is. Listen, I've rung around quite a few other people. They haven't been as insolent as you have. Just tell me your name and I'll find out what I can do about this. I think you should get a solicitor. You know, I'm not sort of entering into this. Obviously, well, I'm you've, going to. You've got a bit of a problem, obviously. Uh, rather a chip on your shoulder, if you don't mind me well, saying. Well, I think you'd have a chip on your shoulder if you'd just broken a record and someone, like, you try so hard and then someone just goes and ruins it all for you. Well, you know, these things happen, don't no, they? No, they don't just happen. Of course they do. Do they, heck? If something gets dropped, it gets dropped. It's just like if you drop a glass of milk on the floor. Yeah, but that's not my fault. It's and I a glass broke the of record. Mil- glass of milk's a bit more important, isn't it? Right, tell me what, Tell me your name again. My name is... Uh, so, anyway... Well, uh, um, excuse me, but what was that? My name is... Uh, right, well, I'm not standing around here to be insulted by you anymore. Why? Where are you going to go? Get a solicitor, you silly man. Don't call me a... Silly man, I'm not a stupid person, Listen, you know. pal, I'll call you what I like. You know, I've rung you up in the goodness of my heart to sort of give you this news, and you, you know, you've done nothing but have a go at me. You're just a bunch of idiots down there, aren't Excuse you? Excuse me, we've got a very important job to do. I'm not, I'm not listening to this anymore. You know, I, I You're not listening to it. No, it's I'm certainly not, not listening, to listening to you. All you've done is go on about it's it. It's me You're just living in a world of swimming. The yeah, it's a silly swimming record. It doesn't matter like this, does it? The starving people on the streets. All you're bothered about is swimming. Right, well, that's it. I'm going. Hello? Hello? Hang on, let's, uh, let's call him back. Hello? Hello, James? Yes, it's yes, not... You, you put the phone down on me, I'm afraid, there, didn't you? Yes. You know, have I said something to upset you or something? I, I, I'm, I, I can't believe what you've done, Well, so. let, Yeah, 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 yeah. Let, let me just stop you just for, just for one moment. Do you know someone called Ian that's on your swimming team? Yeah. Ian Wilson? That's right, yeah. Yeah? He's written to me to wind you up, James. I, who is this? This is Simon Logan from 96.3 Air FM. <laughs> no way, I'm not listening to that in the morning as well on my way back from training. Oh, I can't believe it. Oh, wait till I see him tonight, I'm going to kill him. We I got you, hook, line and sinker there, didn't we? Oh, yeah, well thought. Oh, I trained all that. Oh, I can't believe it. You know, you wait, you plan and you go for years and years and years to break records. <laughs> And then <laughs> someone just, like, takes it away from you. Unbelievable. It was a nasty thing to do, really, wasn't it? Oh, uh, yeah, wait. Oh, I, I'm going oh, to kill him when I see him. He really sent am. me all the details here in a two-page fax here. He sent all the details. He says, that sounds like Ian, very efficient. <laughs> he says that he knows that you listen to the show, so I'd have to, like, disguise my voice a bit. Yeah. Have you got a message for him, then? Um, oh, uh, I'll get my own back, don't you worry. Oh, it's revenge time, is it? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Listen, James, thanks for being a good sport. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye. (laughs) Bye Bye-bye. Good morning. Oh, yeah, good morning. Do you make uh, pizzas any way that you want them? Well, we, yeah, we try our best on the menus, yes. Yeah. It's just that we don't all like the same thing you see in our house. Right, yes. If yeah. I, like, fire a few different things, you'll be able to, like, send them round? Yeah. How long, how long does it take, big girl? Sorry? How long does it take, you know, for you to bring the pizza round? Right, um, about 15 to 20 minutes, usually. My yeah. mum wants one piece with sausage and mushroom on it, you see? Right, yeah, that should be fine. One piece with sausage and mushroom. I want one piece with sausage and pineapple. Right, yeah. Are you writing this down? Yeah, yeah. Can you do pineapple and pepperoni together? We can do, yes. Yeah. Great. Well, one piece of that as well. That's for me. Right. I like a mixture, you see. Not everyone likes the same toppings in our house. Right, It's yeah. great that you can do all these different toppings. I just want to check you've got it. One piece with sausage, one with mushroom, one with sausage and pineapple, one with pineapple and pepperoni, and one with green peppers and onions. Can you read it back to me? One with sausages and... Mushrooms. And mushrooms. Come on, pacey, pacey. Quick, <laughs> quick. I'm in a hurry. One with pineapple... And pepperoni. pepperoni. yes, 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 yes. And one with sausages and pineapple. Do you do chicken? We do, yeah. What about fish? Well, we have tuna. Tuna's good? Yeah. Could you mix the tuna with the chicken and put sweet corn on one piece of it only? Um, on which pizza? The pizza for the man on the moon, of course. Who do you think? You've got four different pizza orders here. Yeah, that's right. You said you did different pieces. Do you do thick crust pizzas? We do, yes. 
I don't like those, you see, but my sister does. If I tell you which slices are thick and which are thin, can you sort it out? Four different pizzas. Are you following me? I'm trying to. You want four different pizzas. That's, That's right. right, yes. Four yes. different pizzas. Pieces of them, not whole pizzas. It says here yeah, on your advert... pieces. It says here on your advert, different pizza pieces, with your own topping. Yes, but, um, I'm afraid you can't have different thicknesses of slices do you, do you of do the same pizza. Do you do anchovies? We do, yes. I'll have one of those, please. That's a, that's another separate piece. Sausage and pineapple on one, pineapple and pepperoni on another, green peppers and onions on another, chicken with anchovies on one piece, chicken and tuna on one piece, along with sweet corn on the piece for my mum. Also, I'd like one piece with ham, prawns and bananas, please. Oh, how on earth do you expect us to get all these to you? Well, it says here I can choose any topping, that's all I'm doing. Yes, but within reason. Within reason? What's wrong with all normal things I'm asking for? But you change your order so many times. No, I'm not changing the order, it's just you're not writing it down properly. I am. Could you do me a slice with dog food? <laughs> <laughs> Who is this? <laughs> you're live on 96.3 RFM, hello. What? Oh, no! <laughs> Oh my god! So how soon can you get that order to me then? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. What's your name? Natasha. Thank you very much, Natasha. <laughs> Thank you. Bye bye. Bye. Don't forget the piece with the dog food on oh, there. No. <laughs> Hello. Oh, hello. Is that uh, hello? Is that Pat Kent? Yes. Hello, Pat. Uh, service centre gas. Um, my name's John Williams. I'm afraid there's a, there's a problem with uh, the gas fire that you purchased at the weekend. Mm -hmm. uh, it's quite an urgent problem, I'm afraid. Go, go a bit mad. Go mad, Pat. Go mad so she can hear you. Oh. Go even madder so she can hear you and wonder what, what the rumpus no, is. Pick that phone up. Hello? 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 Who's this? This is the Mrs. Bruce. She bought a fire on Saturday. Well, I'm talking to a Mrs. Pat Kent at the moment yes. about her fire that she bought. Yes. Are you telling me you bought one? Yes. Just one moment. Can I have your address, please? Linsort Grove. Linsort. Oh, yes, I can see you here on the records. Did you purchase it around the same time? Yes. Oh, my goodness. Well, oh, no. It's a SVB42, isn't it? Uh-huh. Um, you see, oh, my God, you haven't used it yet, yes. have you? You have used it? Uh-huh. Oh, Hi. so are you round at your friends or something? Yes, I'm at my friends just now. Well, thank the Lord that you're round there, that's all I can say. Um, can you get Mrs. Kent to switch off her fire immediately, please? Have you switched it off? This her? is a matter of some urgency. Can you, can you tell her to switch it off, yes, please? Yes, it off. Right, because there's a terrible problem with these. It's my job to ring round oh. everybody, you see, and tell them. Um, so anyway, you haven't used your fire, so we'll be all right. No, I, I've used it yesterday. You have used it? Uh -huh. Oh, my God. All right, it's your influx flow, you see, through the ignition pipe. Uh, could be blocked um, and could cause an explosion. Hell. Yes, I'm afraid this is rather serious, Mrs. Brosher. Uh, we've had to recall about 39 of these so far. As I say, it's my awful job to ring round everyone now. Mm -hmm. So you have got yours connected? Yeah. Uh huh. Right. Oh, my goodness. Well, it's probably best if you don't go home until we have sent round an engineer. Oh, I've got my son in bed. Your son's in the house? Yeah. You've got someone else in the house now? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Well, I'm afraid... Oh, crikey. But the fire's not on. The fire's not on, but no. it is connected. Yeah. Right, I'm afraid we're going to have to get him out straight away. Oh, hell. We're going to have to get him out straight away. Oh, I'll go. Oh, no. Oh, I better go right now. Hello, just be... Hello, before you go. Hello, oh. look. As soon as you've got him out, uh, can I suggest that you close the door and can you put some blankets underneath it at the bottom? at the bottom of the door until we've sent round an engineer. Uh-huh. Okay, and uh, as soon as the engineer's given you the all clear, then you'll be able to go back in again. Right. Okay, it'll be sometime next week we can get one round to you, Haggis Face, if that's all right. Sorry? It'll be sometime next week we can get one round to you. Will you be able to find alternative accommodation? No. Obviously, we've got a lot of people that we've got to go round, you see. No, I, I can't find alternative accommodation. Well, I'm afraid you're going to have to, Scottish Face. Hello? Oh, hello? I'm, I'm sorry, I'm beginning to get rather annoyed with you now because you don't seem to appreciate the, you know, how serious this is. 
Well, I can't take it in to be truthful with you. Well, I'm afraid you better start taking it in straight away, tartan dress. Otherwise, there will be trouble. I'd better go and get my son out. Yeah, I think you better had, you stupid cow. You're not taking me serious, love, and I think it's time that you started to. Are you always this rude to people? I'm not being rude, I just can't take in what you're telling me. You're being very rude. How am I being rude? Everybody else I've rang has, has, has you know, taken it straight away. You're, you're questioning my authority here. I'm questioning you, it's been your text. I'll get somewhere else to live, but you can pay for it. I certainly won't be, Pearl. We couldn't do that, love. Well, there's nobody else where you can go. You're gonna have to live on the street then, or with your friend. I can't live with my friend. She's only got enough room for herself and her son. Well, it's not my problem, love, in the nicest possible way. It's my job just to get people out. You know, obviously there might be some sort of compensation, but we're not talking about much, I shouldn't think. You know, these things happen, love. What? What door do you want me to put the blanket on? Underneath all the doors. Them all? Yes. Well, I'm just no blankets. I'd better go and get my son up. You'll have to, you'll have to paint all the windows black as well. <laughs> and, and block the chimneys with pillows. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Go and get your son up, love. <laughs> 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 I just couldn't keep it up anymore, Molly. I couldn't keep it up anymore. Oh, blimey. There's me sitting here shaking like a leaf. I think you better go and get your son out of bed then, Molly. I'll take you back. Uh, don't forget the blankets underneath. <laughs> hey, we got you going there, didn't we? You did it all. Goodness me. <laughs> There's Pat laughing in the background. I'll get Pat as well. It was her idea, you know, to blame. Oh, dear. I've, had a, I've enjoyed the laugh. <laughs> oh, Molly, what can I say? <laughs> I've never done such a funny one in my life. <laughs> oh, you're joking. Hello. Oh, hello, yes, good morning. Can I speak to um, Mrs O'Leary, please? Speaking. It's David Clark from TV Licensing, Mrs O'Leary. Um, according to our records, you haven't got a TV licence, is that right? Mm, that's right, yeah. Uh, when was the last time you had one? Look, I have better things to do at 97 pound or whatever it is and give it to pay bloody silly people like you to sit behind desks all day. You're a lawbreaker! Hold on! Hello. Yes, you're the husband, are you? I've been trying to... Sorry, who are you? My name is David Clark, TV licensing. David Clark, what can I do for you, David? I've been trying to explain to your woman, uh, there. My woman? She doesn't seem to be My listening wife. to... Is she a bit thick or what? How dare you? Who do you think you are? Look, I'm just trying to get to the bottom of this. You haven't got a TV... How dare you come on and talk to me like that and talk to my wife? You haven't got a TV licence. I'm completely outraged. You're a lawbreaker. I'm not! God, listen to you. You're the one who's not paid. You're completely out of order! You're the one who's cheating the authorities. How dare you come on and talk to me and my wife like this, coming on and talking absolute rubbish and calling her a woman? Just shut up for a moment. The way that you... You have me outraged! The way you're talking is making it seem as if it's my fault. I mean, if you can't afford it, why don't you just... Of course we can afford it! God, you make me sick, people <laughs> like you. That's it, laugh. Laugh while you can. You'll be laughing on the other side of your face when I finish with you. You're the spawn of the earth. Do you know that? Excuse me, I'm not prepared to continue with this conversation. How dare you come on in a yes. real negative tone? How but... dare you? You've been very abusive. Oh, of course, and I don't being... wish to pursue this conversation any further. Thank you. You're being very positive, aren't you? Hello? Hello? <laughs> Oh dear, I think we might have upset him. Um, right, let's ring him back. Hello? Yes, hello, it's me again from the TV. Yes, I don't wish to pursue the conversation any further, thank you. I believe you've applied to go on teleaddicts as well. Yes, we have. So you're trying to drag Noel Edmonds into your sordid life of non-stop crime and life. What's Noel Edmonds got to do with this? You shouldn't even be watching television, let alone answering questions on a quiz show about it. You just go on and on and on, don't you? It's my job. What do you mean, it's your job? It's my job to ring people up and wind them up on the phone. This is Simon Logan from 96.3 RFM. <laughs> <laughs> Simon Logan. Yep. <laughs> Which company do you require? Hello, the plumbing, please. Yes, 
contact me? Hold on a minute, please. Thank you. It's an emergency, love. Okay. Hello. Uh, hello. It's an emergency, love. Yeah, there's no one here at the moment. Can I take a minute? Oh, name? no. Do you know anything about plumbing? I don't know. Oh, it's the pipe in my bathroom here. I can't hold it for much longer. What? Oh, I... no. Can you give me your phone number? I can get an engineer to phone Sir, it's leaking. I'm, I'm trying to stop the water with my hand. Is there anything you can suggest? I... Have you turned off the water? The water? To turn it off? Yeah, have you turned it off? I don't know how you do that. How do you do that? Right, is there nothing under the sink to turn it off? Under the sink in here or under the sink in the kitchen? I'm in the bathroom at the moment. Right, can I just take your number quickly? Yes. Well, I can't let go of it, love. No, no, I'm There's fine. One. I can't let go of it. It's, uh, I don't want it to spread to the... There's a little tap thing here. Would it be that? It possibly. Try it. Hang on a sec. It just seems to be making matters worse here. Hang on. It seems... I, I don't know quite what's happening. Hello? Hello? Get out of the bathroom. Put the phone down and go. I think I've stopped it. Hello? Are you still there, love? I think I've stopped it. It's just trickling now. Hello? Hello? Right, thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Bye bye. Good yeah, good morning. Can I speak to Mr. Evans, please? Who's calling? My name's Nigel Davis. Thank you. Hello? My name's Nigel Davis from the Travel Agent. Mm -hmm. Um, I've just recently got back into the office and I believe that we've sent you, uh, some compensation for your holiday. You have, yeah. The Gambia holiday? Yeah. Um, why, why was this, if you don't mind me asking? Oh, um, well, I mean, the hotel was appalling, basically. Um, it was run down, it was dilapidated, they ran out of food, they ran out of drinks, the amenities were appalling. I mean, if you look at my letter, it's all in there. Yes, well, we get lots of letters, obviously. Um, we haven't had any other complaints. I think you have. No, not and at I all. And I think if you want to be rude and abrupt with me, you best get your facts right first. Um, I'm not being rude and abrupt. It sounds like it to me. No, I'm simply saying that, you know, this well, morning... Well, I know for a fact that somebody else, somebody else, a person who was actually on the holiday, also wrote to yourself and also received compensation. Fine. So before you come on and telling me that they haven't... Before I can take it any further, I need to get all sides of the story. Before you take what any further? Well, I don't think there was any, you know, sort of reason for sending this So money. what are you wanting me to do? I'll give it you back? Well, it's not come to that yet. All I need <laughs> I is... I should think it hasn't. All I need is some reason... Well, if you look at the paperwork and find my letter, then you'll have it all explained to yourself. I believe there was something wrong with the food or something, one of the... There wasn't any. What do you mean there wasn't any? It was a they hotel. They fetched people back because the aeroplane hadn't taken off. So they fetched 150 people to our hotel, fed them and left nothing for us. Well, we've had no evidence of this, I'm afraid. For God's sake, why don't you find my papers? 
Why don't you also find the papers for another chap who was also on the same holiday? Did you team up together to sort of uh, oh. plan this? Right, do you, do you want to repeat that to somebody else? What's your name again? What right. are you insinuating? I have, I'm What's your in, name? I'm not insinuating. What is your name? I'm not insinuating What is your anything. name? I what have, is your name? I have you told just you. insinuated that I've corroborated with somebody else in order to obtain money from you. Now, what is your name? We have to be very careful what when it comes is your name? to giving out compensation. What is your name? I've told you my name. What is it? Nigel Davis. Nigel Davis, right. You know, there's no need to sort of uh, take to, this attitude. To what, what, what all attitude I've have wrong, you just taken? I've just rung to try and get all sides of the story. This well, is why I'm ringing you. I'm sure we will find me. the paperwork and I'll be able to trace the other gentleman that I'm you're sure talking you about will. as well. Basically, my so, signature should have been on it. I've been away. <laughs> so, someone's been sent out willy-nilly. Exactly. You've yeah. got it. You've got it in yeah. one. You've yeah. got it in so one. So you thought you'd come on and say to me, I've corroborated with somebody else Not at in order all. to obtain compensation from you. I certainly haven't said That's that. That's what you've just said. I certainly haven't. That's what you've just said. Uh, don't misquote me, Mr. Evans. Don't misquote you. You've just said it to me. £240 has gone out. All I'm yes. saying is it hasn't had my say-so, so I need to find out what's gone so on. So who has said so? Well, one of the deputies who was looking after yes. things in my absence. Yes. So why have you not asked her then, or him, whoever it might be? Because they're away on holiday. I well, have is that your my phone problem? number here to ring you. You see, £240 it seems a rather a lot of money for it compensation. Does. It does. You know, every, everyone actually. gets messed around a bit on it's, holiday, it's, don't they? Uh, there's messed around and there's messed around. So did you complain on the holiday, Turkey Head? Of course we did. What do you think we are? Bloody stupid. <laughs> you said it, pal. Not prepared to speak to you until you get paper. Bye-bye. Hello? Hello? I think we'd better ring him back. Good morning, Cricket Group Accounts. Yes, I need to speak to Mr. Evans, please. Simon Evans. Uh, yes, who's calling? My name is Neil Davis. We were actually talking. I think we got disconnected. Oh, all right. Thank you. Thank you. He said, uh, no, he didn't get disconnected. He put the phone down. Could you tell him that I have, in fact, found the necessary paperwork now? I think that might change his... Um... All right. Just hang on a second. Thank you. Hello? Mr. Evans, yeah. hello. Yes. I have found the necessary paperwork yeah. now. Um, it's a fax which has come in from your workmates to wind you up. Hey? This isn't anyone from a travel agent. Yes. This is Simon Logan from Air FM, oh, Simon. No, I don't believe it. <laughs> you know what, I listened to that on the bloody morning. <laughs> <laughs> and they're all there in the background. I can't believe it. Hey, what a oh, star. No. What a star you are. Oh, bloody hell. <laughs> Thank listen, you very much indeed. Listen to them all cackling oh, no. in the background there. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe it. <laughs> Thank you. I tell you what, Simon, you <laughs> <laughs>